Good day everyone. Today we'll be talking about a new topic. It's called sending an email using React without any back-end capabilities. First thing that you will need is to go to www.emailjs.com and click on the docs section here and then scroll down on the lower le left corner look for react click on it and then copy this line of codes into a javascript component say i have here my react application i'll create a component say new file I'd say email.js, paste the code that I got from email.js, and then make sure that it's the same name here. So let's uh, change that one to contact us. Contact us. There you go. After that, save. After saving. You go to your bash or any command prompt or command line, type in npm install, write down the dependency that you need for this email feature. The dependency that you'll need is email, j I'm sorry, it's uh, at email js slash browser. There we go. Because that's what's imported on line two. Once the dependency is installed, the next item that you'll need is create your email template on this website here. So if you haven't created an account yet, sign up for free. All you have to do is register your, say, Gmail. Um, under this account, I've registered my Gmail account. So I'll just hit sign in. I hit login. There we go. Here's an example email service. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll add a new one. You can select any email that you're comfortable with, say Gmail, but I'm comfortable using other emails here, say SMTP server. And then the service ID don't touch, just leave it as is. So uh, for this one, it's going to be that one. And then the port number should be a specific, say 587. Because if it's SMTP, you can say 465 or 587. For this one, I'll use 587. And my SMTP uses SSL. So for the user, I'll write down my email and then my password. Hit enter. Yes, you can send a test email for verification, create service. If you, in just in case, encounter an error, you can try another port number, say 465. There you go. Okay, now I have two email services. I know I'm using this one as default. You can set the, uh, the other one as default as well. After that, you can create an email template here. I have uh, another email template that I've created before. I'll create another one for this tutorial. I would say from here, the subject is message from email JS or React application. And then you got a new message from from name and then reply to. So for your reply to, you can enter an email, say uh, the from name. Well, actually you can uh, just uh, cut this one out. You paste it here because this is the email that you will need to have your recipient reply to. And then from your reply to page or section, you can enter your email here. And 
then hit save. You have unsaved changes. Do you want to continue? Yes. I hit continue. Now the template has been saved. The final thing that we need to do is test. But first we need to put this uh, contact as component inside your um, main JavaScript file, which is app.js. Here. Let me just delete everything. So uh, let me redeclare my application. There we go. And then I'll call in all our I will import the component contact us. There we go. So it can be seen here. There, hit save. We run the application by typing in npm start. So basically, we're going to use the form that is suggested here on the React documentation. So this is what this is what we're expecting to see. Okay. So while waiting, let's go back to contact as form and make sure that the service ID here is the same thing on your default. I mean email service. So I'm going to use this e this one as the email service. Copy that. And then replace this as the service ID. Next one is your template ID. Okay. You select any email template that you have. I'll use this one. The second email template. You go to settings. Copy that. Go back here. There we go. And then your public public key. To get the public key, you hit your account. Same this one is mine. And then the API key is here. Copy that. You paste it here. And then let's put an alert message uh, once the email is sent successfully. So say your email has been sent. Save that one again. We go back to the bash file. It's taking quite a while. Let's wait a bit. Okay, here's my React application. I have an error. We attempted to import, which falls outside the project history. Let's double check the module. It should be here somewhere. Yeah, I have it here. See? So we had this error earlier. Um, on the browser, we have this export default was not found. So what we had to do is uh, move from components to the same source or directory of the app.js here. Okay, let's click yes. There we go. Make sure that one is on the same directory. Let's go back here. Module not found. Okay, it can't be resolved because uh, the export is supposed to be outside of it. There we go. Let's try again. There. Now we have here the email form. Let's try sending a message. 
I'll put any any name here, say your name or your recipient name. And then enter the email address that you want. I'll enter my email. Here is the test email for email JS. Let's click on send. To have a better view, let's open up our inspect element. There you go. Before I tried sending an email, the recipient is empty. Let's try again. Hit send. Okay, the recipient address is empty still. Let's go back to our default template. Here it should be user email. There, let's copy that one. Copy that here as well. Let's save. And then let's try again. There you go, your email has been sent. Click OK. Let's go back to our inbox. And there you have it. Message from email JS React. This is the email template that we created. We have uh, created earlier. There you go. Let's open that. Here's the test email from email JS. The same message that we sent earlier. Thank you again for watching.